Welcome to Mindful of Christ Ministries YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk through how you can create and customize a Calendly scheduling page. So firstly navigate to Google or your search engine that you prefer, type in Calendly and click enter. And then you will come up with these options, click on sign up for Calendly if you haven't done so already and then it will take you through to their website so you can choose uh, the option of my account or create new event type so I'm going to go into my account to show you what has already been set up but if you haven't created an account yet simply click create new event type and as we go through, I'll talk to you about talk to you about what to include. So you click on my account, or I've clicked on my account. And once you're in there, it'll come up with this page. So if you've, like I said, if you've already got an account, you'll have these two options available. But if you are wanting to set up a new event, click on a new event, which is just over here on the right. So once you do that, that will take you to the next screen in creating your event. Now, if you're using Calendly, the free option, then you are only able to choose one event, which is why I'm currently taking you through my one event which I have set up right now otherwise I would click on that and show you how to do it from scratch but this is I'll be able to show you from here anyway so like I said if it's a new event click on new events just over here on your right once you do that it'll take you to edit your one-on-one -on -one event type uh, the first option is what event is this? So you click on that and, and you fill in the details. You can choose your location. You can add a location option and then you fill out the description and instructions according to your personal event. So if you are a coach and you this is your first call, perhaps you call it a chat or a discovery call, then you will describe that call in this box here. Give all the instructions that they will need. And that is that part filled out. So once you've done that, click once booked so i've done once booked pop it in your diary calendar and check the, your emails for the zoom link so on your free version you don't automatically get a reminder you get a confirmation after so say a client has booked a call with you you get an automatic confirmation they will get that email sent out but they won't get a reminder unless you send that yourself so they'll get that one reminder sorry one confirmation straight after booking um so i'd like to make a note to them to pop it in their diary and then cl simply click save and close so your next bit is workflows so you are able to do that if you are on the paid for account. So you move on to the next bit, the notifications and cancellation policy. And amend or personalize your confirmation. And then simply click save and close. And then you click on the next step, which is the confirmation page. So this is their page that they will get on confirmation after booking their event with you. So you can you have two options. So click on the arrow here. You can choose whether to display calendar comp, calendly confirmation page 
or send them to an external link. So display button to schedule another event. You can choose whether you want that on or off as well. And then when you've done that, click on um, click save and close. And then you move on to the last option and that is collect payments. So again, if you're on the free account, you won't be able to add payments in your Calendly account. But if you're on the paid version, you can. So as we're going through the, the free accounts for Calendly, then again, just save and close that. And then once you're done, simply click on view the live page and it'll take you to what your live page will look like for your customers. So you will have uh, the calendar here, you'll have date options. And then once you've done that, click on copy link. And then that link that you have just copied, you can send to potential clients to book in their call with you. And that link will take you to your calendar, which you see right here. Anyway, I hope that it's been helpful for you today and that you have learned how to create and customize your own Calendly scheduling page. So if this was helpful for you, click like if you want to see more content from us for business startup, then click on subscribe. And if you believe this, it'll help anyone else, then please share it with them too. See you next time. God bless.